people like you. I get to go and take people Bibles like I did today. I get to make cool videos and talk about God. And I get to eat a lot of food. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Um, I hear that you like Disney. I love Disney. What's your favorite Disney character? Great question. Are we talking Disney? Are we talking Pixar? Are we talking both? Whatever, Both. Whatever type. My favorite character comes from the movie Toy Story. Do you like that movie? Um, no, but my sister does. Okay, your sister does. I, I love that. I love the dinosaur Rex from Toy Story. Okay. Do you like National Graphic? National Geographic? I do. What's your favorite? I like watching the movies Sharks of the Lost Island. Whoa. Do you like sharks? Um... Third favorite, animals. What's your first favorite? Snakes. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? You want to hear a story? So the other day, me and Miss Karen found a snake. Oh, you want to hear something super crazy? I want to hear it all. Okay, so I was in my grandparents' garden in Ohio. Uh huh. And I found a, a garden snake. No, you did not. How big was it? That What color was it? Um, brown. Black to blend in with the soy olive horse. Well, okay, so the snake that I saw, Miss Karen, it like went on its it went on its head and it did this. What did your snake do? Um, what most snakes do? What do they do? Slither. Can you show me how they slither? Um, that I went so close. Um, I tried to get a closer look because I I wasn't sure if it was gonna be a lizard or snake because um. a lot of lizards um I oh um yes so. Why did God create fish? Why did God create fish? That's a great question. God created a lot of things. I can't answer why God created fish because I'm not God. So we're going to have to ask God that question. But what we do know is God didn't just create animals. God also created man and woman. God created the earth. God created your favorite friend, the snake. <laughs> he created all those things. So that's a great question. I think you add that to the list of things that you've asked God. I think we talked about that this week in the summer extreme. Maybe think some things you can ask God. Okay, um, I have a quick something to tell you. I'm ready. I'm not very friends with snake. I don't literally touch snakes, but it's hard to pin them. Like you try to pin the card. Uh huh. Oh, um, I have a great question. Um, I love all your questions. What is? Do you have any favorite fish movies? Yes, my favorite fish movie in the entire world is Finding Nemo. Okay. What about you? Do you? What's your favorite part? If you like, if you like rat, do you like ratatouille? Yes, absolutely. So, what's your favorite part? Is it a part where it's a pond of fish, like where when the guy, when the chef throws the mouse out, the rat into the water? That's it. Kind. It kind of familiar to when the child in Finding Nemo throws all of Yes, when the girl the goes, fishy, wake up. Yes. You know that part? Yeah, and then he just throws him out the window uh -huh. into the ocean. But then they're trying to get out and they don't escape. Just like in Ratatouille, when their brothers don't escape uh -huh. from the chef place because they got captured. Because they were eating all that cheese. Yeah. Do you like cheese? I don't want to speak breath, so no. Oh, man. <laughs> you, your audience thought that was really funny. We should have, like, a drum here that goes, put a... <laughs> okay. Okay. So, what's the main line of focus? Uh, I think it's right here, right? It says, take a closer look. How many main lines do you guys have for focus? Um, well, every day we have, we call them bottom lines, and they're, like, our truths. Maybe if you put the glasses on, they'll help you see it better, right? You want to try? Yeah, does it help you? Yeah. Our main points are right here. Do you see them? Yeah. Okay, wait, what does that one say? Focus on what you can see. Uh-huh, that's one of them. That one? 
You can hear from God. Wow, you're such a good reader. Goodness gracious, I wish I could read like you. You can talk with others about what you believe. Oh my gosh, yes, yeah, so good. Okay, what about this one? You can pray anytime, anywhere, about anything. Okay, sneak peek, because we haven't won this one yet. Here we go. You can live for God by loving others. Loving, but loving good, good. Others. that was close, that was close. What? <laughs> what other questions you got for me? How many doubts does the devil have about God? Well, I think that you're asking really good questions. Very good questions. Our audience is like, whoa! Well, I don't think the, like, the devil has about God. I don't know. Again, I don't know the answer to that question. I think that God is sovereign, which that's a really big word. That means God is perfect and God is all-knowing and God is powerful. And so I think that Satan is jealous of God. I don't know that he doubts God's power. I think that God is almighty and all powerful so that he created even satan which satan goes by a different name or he created matt which is in the audience and karen and brie and ashbel and me and you uh, so that's question number two you're gonna have to ask god huh um quick question about people i'm ready how many people did god create every single person i'm um, talking about tell me a number Great question. I would probably say about 320. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead, guess. A gazillion and infinity. A gazillion and infinity? Yeah, that's how many people are actually in the world. What? Where did you get those numbers? Um, I made them up. And I think I'm about to make this right, so I think that's right. Okay, that's correct. I love it. I can't wait for you to give me more answers on that. I think I have a little bit more, probably ten. Ten? Okay. Ten more questions. Are you back are are you very into science? I like science a lot. Okay. I have a science question for you. Do you believe that fiction movies are actually nonfiction? Because <laughs> I have a scientific, <laughs> scientific answer for that. Yes. Okay, tell me why. Because I've been thinking about making this suggestion for a very, for probably when I realize I'm going to be in first grade in two months. You're so smart. Um, so I've been thinking, what about if fiction movies are actually non-fiction? What about if their means is created? What about they only did it? What is it called again? Like, they went to, astronauts went to other galaxies to film these. Oh, you think they went to space to film these movies? Yeah, yeah. So, like, Star Wars, you think actually happened in space? Um, yes. You think it's real and not made up? Yeah, because that's why there's crumbles on the moon. And if they've been fighting on the moon, because I... I thought back. the crumbles on the moon from, from cheese. Okay, I... I have... Next question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love Frozen. Okay. Everybody get ready to laugh and say boo. Get ready to laugh and say boo. Okay. Okay. Sorry, fans of Frozen, but I'm not a fan of Frozen. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. What's the most What's your most favorite? Do you, which most do you like Revelations or Genesis? Oh, that's a really great question. So I think that's really a really hard question because Genesis talks about the creation, how God made everything, Brooks. But then Revelation talks about when God's coming back and we're going to get to see him. So those are really good questions. I would say that I want to see Jesus. So Revelation is one of my favorites. But Genesis is so cool because I learned about when God made the earth and God made the stars and God made the fish and all of the things. God made it all. Okay, I have another question about science. Yep. Who created science? God. 
Okay, one more science question. Okay. Then this is my last science question. Okay. Only science question. I'm sweating. Okay. <laughs> I am too. Yeah, you are too. Yeah, I'm nervous. Are you nervous? No. Nope. Okay, okay. I'm All just, right. What question should I be asking? I haven't really thought this through. Okay, that's okay. Okay, like, um, Best hosts don't know what they're. Okay, you know. so, like I was saying, do, do, which is your. What is your most favorite part about science? Astronetic science or okay. or single science? <laughs> I technically one one day did actually did a single science of blocking signals and, and the dividing signals. This is I have not learned this and I've been through college, so I'm gonna say my favorite is astronetic <laughs> science. It sounds really cool. Your dad, your dad. Okay. I mean, the do cameraman. You, do you like science? Do you uh -huh. like which planet of astronetic science do you like? Uh, well, in the astronetic science, I really like Pluto. I don't even think that's a. Uh... I think it's gone. Yeah, so. What about okay. Saturn? Um, okay. 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 Okay, that's my last question. Okay. Okay. Is there, do you believe in different galaxies there, sh there might be a cheese planet? <laughs> <laughs> what, is this, there a different galaxy? I need you to know, this is the question I've been debating my whole life. I believe there's a Swiss planet. Swiss planet? I'm where Swiss cheese is. Uh, okay. What's your favorite punch? Oh, yeah. Okay. episode, fifth episode. How many episodes are you even going to make? It sounds like I've been counting my whole life.